uh, they were met with some light resistance, which I would be, uh, we need to be very clear when we say light resistance. If you're on the other end of that resistance, uh, that resistance is in fact a, uh, a challenge. But strategically, we would say it was light resistance. Well, I can tell you that coalition forces are on the ground uh, at the airport. Uh, they're also uh, on the ground in, in the vicinity of Baghdad. Um, uh, but, but at this point, you know, we're still uh, encountering pockets of resistance. Um, but current operations are continuing, and, and uh, but, you know, make no mistake, uh, we'll complete our mission. Both parts of the airport, does that mean that you have routed whatever pockets? Uh, Baghdad International Airport uh, is virtually under uh, coalition control. Uh, obviously, it's a large area, four by uh, two miles. Uh, we will take out any further pockets of resistance to gain overall control. Uh, it obviously, is a jewel on the crown to, uh, to the uh, coalition. Uh, it is right on the doorstep of Baghdad itself and must be a great loss uh, to the uh, regime at losing something uh, that uh, is going to provide us with uh, a great capability. It's obviously a strategic uh, importance to the coalition. Uh, it provides us uh, with a large area of real estate, uh, modern communications, buildings, uh, and obviously fully operating runways. Uh, the airport itself had not been uh, disabled uh, by the regime. We're examining uh, what has happened to the Republican Guard uh, uh, ever since we started uh, the land battle. Uh, it could be as a result of uh, the air campaign that we've waged for the week beforehand, uh, where our, our aim was to reduce the fighting capability. It appears we were successful, judging by the amount of abandoned and uh, uh, obviously bombed equipment we're counting on the, uh, the way to the airport. Uh, at the same time, uh, they may very well have drawn back into the city itself. Uh, we're obviously using uh, every uh, source that we have to try and identify what exactly has happened. We're treating it very carefully. Uh, there are still options available to the regime for those who are prepared to fight for it. Uh, but we will take it softly, softly, and uh, examine options before we commit to any further military action. Uh, we're equipped to fight in the chemical environment, uh, but the civilian population now uh, in the area we're operating is enormous. Uh, some six million people in uh, the city of Baghdad. Um, we're conscious that they have nothing uh, to protect them from any type of attack like this. And we hope very much the regime, and we know they have these weapons, uh, are not prepared to use them. The overall feeling is that uh, uh, amongst the coalition is we have got now to the back door of Baghdad, uh, a city, uh, and uh, that the ruling regime must realize uh, that uh, to prolong this war would only result in unnecessary civilian deaths. Uh, we hope very much that they'll cap capitulate uh, to save the loss of civilian lives and that we can get uh, uh, Iraq as a country back on its feet economically uh, and uh, to leave ultimately Iraq for the Iraqi people to govern.